Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making garlic fried chicken. All right, I'm starting out here with some boneless, skinless chicken breast. And I'm going to cut these down because I'm going to pound them out with my meat tenderizing hammer. And I'm going to cut these down into better portion sizes. And uh, there's still a little bit of ice on some of them, but that's okay. And I left these thaw in my fridge for two days and I put them in a bowl because I learned the hard way when you thaw chicken, even if it's frozen in a bag, juice will leak out and it made a mess in my fridge with raw chicken juice. Right now that I have my chicken all cut up into uh, smaller portion sizes, I'm going to cover this up with some wax paper and pound it out thin. And this is another thing I learned the hard way, I mean, do this covered because it's going to splatter juice all over trying to pull you around on me there. Okay, now that I have my chicken pounded thin and set aside, I'm going to start making my breading, okay? In a large bowl here, I'm putting two cups of flour, and that's all-purpose flour. I'm going to add in one cup of breadcrumbs. These are the Italian seasoned ones. Okay. Now I'm also going to add in a tablespoon and a teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm just going to eyeball this. Okay, there's a tablespoon. There's a teaspoon. All right. I'm also going to add in two teaspoons of paprika. And like I said, once again, I'm just eyeballing this. All right. I'm going to add in two teaspoons of salt. You can use any kind of salt you like, regular iodized table salt, sea salt, whatever. There's one teaspoon. Two teaspoons. And I'm also going to add in two teaspoons of black pepper. And it's going to take a little bit because all I have is pepper grinder pepper. I don't have any already ground. Okay, that's close enough. Now I'm going to mix this together uh, good with a fork, get everything all blended. Okay, now that I have my breading mixture mixed up, I'm going to do my uh, egg wash. I'm going to beat up two eggs, and it's a low flat bowl so it's easy for dipping on your these shells. And roughly about a cup of milk, let me clean my hands, I've got an egg on them. Roughly a cup of milk, I'm just going to eyeball this. Okay. And I'm just going to blend this well. Okay, my stove, I have a large skillet with about two cups of oil in it, heating up on medium heat. I don't want to get too hot. I'm going to take my chicken that I pounded out thin, I'm going to dip it into the egg, and then dip it into the flour mixture. I'm going to get the excess egg wash off of it. And after I get this good and coated, I'm going to go over and lay it in the frying pan and fry it. And it's important to keep your heat down because you don't want to fry this crispy on the outside before it has a chance to cook on the inside. All right, just shake the excess off. And I'm just going to repeat this process till all of my chicken is coated. Okay, my chicken's done frying on the first side. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. It's been about five minutes. And I'm going to continue frying the other side for about five minutes. So the chicken's fried through and the pieces run clear. Alright, my chicken's done. I'm going to go ahead and get it out of there. And I'm going to repeat this process till I have all of my chicken fried. Alright, my chicken's all fried and ready to go. Let's plate this up and see what we got. I went ahead and made some garlic pesto noodles for on the side. So there you have it. Garlic fried chicken with some garlic pesto noodles on the side. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. Until next time, I'll see you.